Well, this week, employees at places like Fifth Third, P&G, and Children's Hospital get some special insight into working with people with disabilities. Local Charles Rich Jaffe caught up with a professional powerhouse who never considered his lifelong blindness a disability. And going to law school was incredibly difficult. Students at Mount Notre Dame, Dame listened intently to well-known civil rights attorney Richard Bernstein. An enthusiastic competitor, he's completed 19 marathons and Ironman, and last year he was elected to the Michigan Supreme Court. He's also blind. Besides the world of law, his area of expertise is getting companies to hire people with challenges. You simply take that chance and say, you know what, I know this candidate's different, I know this candidate is going to take a little bit more work or effort, but you provide that chance, you are going to find that you are going to have the most highly energetic, resilient, grateful, loyal person working beside you that you could ever possibly imagine. Sitting in the audience in a wheelchair, at least temporarily, was Brittany Dorton. Her take on the speech. You have to come up with something that makes it worthwhile um, and let it make you more compassionate and not more bitter. And I think he's done a pretty incredible job of that and made such a difference in so many people's lives. All week long, Richard Bernstein is meeting with local businesses and organizations talking about adding people with disabilities to their workforce. It's what this organization is all about. Bernstein says the biggest impediment to doing that is people's preconceived notions about people with disabilities. Experts at Living Arrangements for the Developmentally Disabled say while some employers are getting better, others are getting worse, demanding that employees do too much multitasking. And the answer could be heart. Employers need to be thoughtful and mindful of helping people with disabilities. And not all employers are because they don't think that way. They think bottom line, you know, why should I hire this person who has challenges versus this person who does not? So somewhere in your soul, you search for the fact that it could be me. The body has infirmities. That's the way life is. But the soul has no limits. In Reading. Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Makes you think, doesn't it? Richard Bernstein was elected to the Michigan Supreme Court last year. He ran on a slogan of blind justice. In order to do his job, he memorizes the details of every single case.